Hey what's up guys, today I'm making the creamiest mung bean curry with coconut for a decadent dinner from scratch. Even the coconut from scratch. How you ask? You'll see that in a minute. By the way, this is going to be the creamiest, tastiest, cozy dinner you could ever have. Yep, I'm gonna remove the seeds from the chilies. That song is a classic. I love that song. So the coconut just acts like the water is almost over, but then it's a trick. There you go. All the water down the sink. Such a waste. Should have been 250 ml at least. Now oh, I got only half of it. Almost done. There you go. Bird house. Wow, that's how you break a coconut. And now comes the hard part. I'm not even exaggerating. The water from this coconut was so sweet and refreshing. The meat was too. Usually this part is the hardest, but turns out this coconut is a friendly one. It is easier, a lot easier compared to the usual tough ones. For 200 grams of mung bean, I've used half cup coconut. And we gotta chop them into little pieces so your spice grinder doesn't go crazy and break its blades. Yes, it's a real thing, it does happen. You sure can change the blades, but it'll never be like the real one. And this is the best part. This is one teaspoon of oil and that's as little you'll need for no matter how big batch of mung bean curry you're gonna make. Cause that's how much you'll need to fry a bunch of spices and onion. Isn't that the best part? The green powder I have added by the way is fennel seed powder. It's insanely fragrant. And if you haven't guessed it yet, I love bay leaf. You can never add too many bay leaves. One onion and ginger garlic paste with all the with all the green chilies. Mix them well on high flame. Make sure the ginger garlic clump is all broken apart. Half a teaspoon salt. Turn the flame down and cover. Tomatoes in 5 minutes later. Mix them around a little and add one and a half teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon turmeric and mix them again real well this time. Cover and wait. Five minutes later, they're almost sticking to the bottom. We have a little caramelization going on. That's the perfect time to add them to our now ready mung bean. Oh, well, it's not as glamorous as I thought it would be. This is the cool stuff. It's 
actually mung bean starch this is the stuff that cellophane noodles are made from you'll see what this will do to the creaminess of the curry at the end mix a little yeah i pushed all the starchy stuff into it to with the ml water in and mixing and here i'm mashing them a little against the walls of the utensil and why am i doing that just helping it become a little more creamier and now we wait with the flame on medium gotta bring it to a boil there you go it's coming to a boil there's too little water so we can't leave it without stirring at this stage and to your spice blender add all the coconut and one fourth cup fried gram don't freak out this is just chickpeas just processed a different way you gotta look it up though it's a cool way to process chickpeas we cannot do it at home maybe you can if you have the patience and heat tolerance we gotta grind that up and this is the result we're not gonna filter it this is not coconut milk it's just ground up coconut and fried gram mix it like you would mix white chocolate into brown not really just mix it real well because both of these are really dense and thick liquids and try to bring it to a boil don't boil it too much there you go this boiling part depends on how thick you want your gravy to be and this is how thick i was going for and i turn it off I had been hungry for a while. My stomach is literally growling right now. Look at that thickness. And I only ate three of those bowls tonight. Yep. It is creamy, rich, coconutty, real decadent. I'm gonna go eat. See you later. Bye.